Use that time off to learn and, and enhance what your product is, what you're able to provide and get out and talk to people. Hi everybody, checking in again. Uh, I'm gonna have a conversation right now with uh, my friend and colleague and uh, worldwide hockey legend, soon to be business legend, <laughs> Chris Pronger. And I just, I, I think we probably wanna start off both of us by just saying, you know, we continue to hope that everyone is, is healthy and safe and what's going on in the, uh, in the world. And, you know, we seem to be, in some cases we're taking a turn for the better, but let's hope that everyone's safe and healthy. But I, I wanna, uh, first, hi Chris, how you doing? I'm doing great, Nick. How about you? Good. And if for all of, our, all of our American audience, you could probably catch two Canadian accents here. <laughs> you're, you're dueling back and forth. Um, and uh, Chris has certainly come a long way from being drafted by Hartford that many that many years ago. And uh, Chris, you listen. You are uh, you're a legend. Uh, you're one of the few folks who've won the triple gold. Which, for those who don't know, that's of course Stanley Cup. Uh, Olympic gold and the world championships of hockey, which is a, I don't know what it is, 30, Chris, or 40. I don't know what it is. It's a, it's a very small number. Yeah, that's actually a great question. I think it's probably in the 30s. You know, I think yeah, a couple guys got added after the last Olympics in 14. And I think somebody won a world championship to make it. Uh, yeah, I think it's, yeah, it's probably like 30, 35. Right, yeah. It's, it's a small group. Yeah, it's a small select group, and um, you know, for most Canadians, it's you know probably the most important one for that Chris was involved with. Of course, is the gold medal game that we all uh, <laughs> watched in 2010, which was phenomenal. Where with uh, with uh, Iggy and uh, Crosby closing it out there for for Canada. But um, Chris, listen, you're 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 like uh, like a lot of celebrated athletes have pivoted into to you know being a businessman and being you know partners with your wife Lauren and and you know, doing something different that you, I mean, you said to me, you always thought you would do something bigger beyond hockey. So what, what is it? T tell us about your business and tell us about yeah. how maybe some of the things you learned on the ice, whether it was through, you know, you, people coaching you or um, just the way you played um, that uh, moved you into this, into your business venture. What is your business venture? It's, uh, well, we started, uh, my wife started a couple years ago, a boutique luxury travel company called Well Inspired Travels. Uh, really, our niche clients are elite athletes, you know, CEOs, C-level executives, business owners. Uh, and, and the reason that is, is the mindset and the mentality between an elite athlete, a CEO, and a, and a business owner is very similar, you know, in, in how they grow their business, how they grow their game, uh, and excel and get to the top. And then once you're there, the, the mindset and, and the will and desire to stay there and do what it takes to get beyond that and and that's kind of how we narrowed down the niche market that that we're in because that's what i know and that's what i was so um you know we're trying to do things a little bit different in that regard and and then you know we're very uh in tuned because of my career and and obviously my wife being around for the for a long time in that you know we understand the demands on your time the pressures of the job the fame and fortune the you know, all the things, the, the toll it takes on your family life. Uh, you know, you've got to, as an athlete, you got to eat, breathe, and sleep the sport that you're playing, much like a business owner is when he's growing his business and much like a CEO is when they're leading their company. And, you know, I think ha having had the fortune of, of being a captain numerous times with the different teams that I played on, you learn an awful lot about yourself. You learn an awful lot about how different people work. Uh, obviously coaching styles and, and what you like, what you didn't like. And I'm able to implement a lot of that for, you know, as you, as you asked about my sport and, and what I did with hockey, et cetera, what I can bring to the table and, and, and also what I've learned over the course of my career. And now on into business, what I did at 30 is completely different as what I do at 45 and, and just learning to listen a little bit more and, and really pay attention to what somebody's saying and not just watching their mouth move, <laughs> opening up your ears and listening and, and understanding everybody has a different take. Everybody has a different vision. Uh, and, and really it's about trying to understand so you can learn and, and maybe apply something to, to your field respective field and, and hopefully get some, some knowledge along the way that that's going to help you in your business. Well said, I, I think it's, um, uh, you know, the, the, the layman or laywoman who's never played, you know, sport, you know, many people play sports or active, who's never played at that level, 
probably, you know, it's hard to fathom the commitment of, you know, there's obviously a lot of talent involved, but then the hard work and the determination, you know, both, both physically and mentally to get to that level. And, and I can see, you know, uh, I can see how it makes sense to apply that to what you're doing with business. And, and how is, you know, travel business? Clearly the last six months has been decimated, <laughs> right? I mean, and it's just starting to open up again. So what, what do you think are, are there, like are, are the future prospects? Because obviously you, you're, you're servicing or your business isn't just the US, it's everywhere in the world, wherever anyone wants to go. And people, listen, people are nomadic. They love to travel. It's one of yeah. the biggest industries in the world. So how has it affected your business? Well, it, it's, it's taken its toll, that's for sure. Um, you know, I think, I think I heard a stat, it was like 35%. When you look at travel, the hospitality industry as a whole, Thirty-five uh, percent of the the country's workforce is is somehow affiliated with travel, whether it's you know the airlines, the hotels, restaurants. All those are part of hospitality, and those are all things that that we're involved with. And uh, it's it's taken a devastating toll. But I think as we start to come out of it, there's opportunities, and and there's you know if 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 you're able to keep your mental acuity, if you will, and and kind of be in the moment and, and learn, use that time off to learn and, and enhance what your product is, what, what you're able to provide and, and talk to, get out and talk to people and, and kind of hear what, what they're going through and understand, uh, as I said, the opportunities that are presented to you and, and not really, um, you know, I think that's, that's one of the strengths of, of our business and strengths that I have that I can bring to the table is, is understanding uh, a adversity and, and how you pivot from adversity and pushing through it. Uh, decision making. We're not always going to make the right decisions, but learning from them and, and turning and going the opposite direction. If, if you make a mistake and go left, go right. You know, don't don't stay on that path because, well, I, I turned left. I got to stay. I got to stay left. You know, no, you can go right. And, uh, you know, I think being able to to, to challenge myself. Um, challenge our staff and, and really uh, learn from what's going on in the environment, try to be out in front of things, uh, you know, just constantly learning about whether it's new properties, learning about safety protocols, really. And, and you're able to help guide your clients and, and allow them to feel safe. And, and that, that warm, fuzzy feeling we used to get when we travel, we want to get that back. And, and we sure. want to be able to put people's minds at ease as they continue to go through the process of, of learning about properties, learning about their safety protocols, learning about what they're doing uh, in their respective uh, countries, et cetera. I mean, there's a lot of moving parts, uh, which is another reason why I think we're, uh, we're kind of set up for success uh, in the future. Yeah. Smart. I mean, it's, you know, people are going to travel again, obviously. And it's uh, you just that pivot is probably the most overused word. In business, but it's true. You have to just like sports. You got to you got to pivot, and I mean we're finding the same thing in our business. So just before I turn it over to you to ask me a few questions, Chris, as you get to know our portfolio, I think of, you know travel in our business. You know we're principally ABG is around you know seventy percent lifestyle, thirty percent entertainment, but clearly our customers travel, and you know whether they're a customer at you know at Barney's uh, that with the, with the joint venture we're doing with Saks, or whether they're a customer that, you know, is obviously buying goods for their trip. Yeah. Any, any of them, any of them come top to mind. And then after that, I'd just love you to tell everyone uh, kind of how they get in touch with you. And yeah. on, uh, as far as well inspired travels before we turn it over. Yeah, so what do, you, what do you think about our portfolio? Uh, I love it. You know, I think there's so many opportunities to partner. Um, you know, one comes to mind. I was just out at Brush Creek Ranch in Wyoming, fry boots, you know, Get Love custom it. fit for fry boots, go out there, you know, get on a horse. Um, you know, there's all Smart. kind. you know, as, what's that? Smart. I love that. Yeah. But yeah. as you, as you look through your portfolio of, of, of companies and products, you're that, I mean, that's just off the first, first place I just came back from and, and it's immediate, you know, whether it's, whether you're building uh maybe you're doing a wedding there and you're getting groomsmen and, and bridesmaids gifts and you're giving them boots that are engraved. I mean, there's so a lot of kinds of things. So that would be a value add. So you would book, you, you would, you, you're the concierge for your client and you're also offering them, listen, I'm going to get making it like to your point, monogram fry boots and yeah. we're going to do uh, lucky brand uh, plaid shirts, you know, embroidered. Yeah. Uh, and then we're also at the same time going to say, listen, maybe we can, 
get you a VIP invite to the Sports Illustrated Super Bowl party. Right? <laughs> exactly. Right? So it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's everything that we can do yeah. together. Yeah. I mean, you can, I, I just got your book. Uh, you could go through, you know, you, whether it's prints and you're getting tennis rackets and you're going on a, you know, what are, we, you know, a what wellness you're trip and you're playing tennis and you're going to you know, see Wimbledon. Yeah. I mean, right? there's all kinds of things that as I walk through this, I mean, it's, it's a laundry list of opportunities to partner and, and uh, I mean, it's, it's a great lineup of product. So, I mean, there's, Tons of things that we could do together and, and partner with them. I'm, I'm pretty sure of that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we can figure it out. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, so, Chris, let's all, I'll, I've been talking. I'll hand it over to you a bit if you want to ask anything or just because yeah. you're connected in a while. Yeah, no. Um, you know, I think when you look at the brands that you have, and, and many of them are, are, are iconic for sure uh, across lifestyle and entertainment, um, what are the, which, which companies come to mind that are natural extensions into the travel industry? Yeah, it's, it's a good one because I think there's two ways to look at it, right? You could either take the existing products that we work with our licensees with and insert them into travel, you know, so because, you know, people need snorkels if they go on vacation and we, we make Nautica snorkels. But then what, I, what the other way to think of it is how can we actually be in the travel business? And then I think of, you know, Sports Illustrated, we are, you know, we are the most trusted name in sports. I'm sure many of your clients are going to say, you know, listen, I want to go to, you know, when it, when it comes on again, I want to go to the Champions League final, or yeah. I want to go to the World Hockey Championships in Finland, right? And with my family as a treat. So how Sports Illustrated as a name is the most trusted name in sports. So, you know, could we do something as Sports Illustrated Travel, yeah. right, in conjunction with you? Because we're get we have, you know, many, many millions and millions of eyeballs a month of unique visits to our website, you know, for, for digital programming with Sports Illustrated. So if we already have that captive audience, how can we give them a value added service? So I look at it as, as providing the conventional things we do and it's yeah. turning them into travel. And then is there something specifically in travel that we can do? And I, and I love the idea of, you know, I, I know you, maybe you're catering to, you know, higher net worth client, but at the same time, as we expand this, Chris, you know, someone, you know, I, I, I'm a believer. I believe the cruise industry will come back one day yeah. and maybe you sign up for a cruise. And with that, you get a $500 gift certificate to go to nautica.com to get, you know, a polos and chinos for your trip. Right. So it's, to me, it's this idea of, of making the consumer journey uh, more cohesive yeah. and making it easier for the consumer to get a one-stop shop. So I, I think it's to your point, it's probably endless for travel. Yeah. For and, and, a good value add where you're getting well said product and, and, uh, and the service combined. Yeah. Um, I mean that, that kind of throws right into my next question. <laughs> uh, you know, what are some of the ways that your brands uh, could be incorporated with well-inspired travels for cross marketing opportunities? Cross marketing. Um, I, I, I think it's, you know, with digital marketing being so important, what we can do is we can compare our databases and yep. figure out how we could target, right? Because maybe there's a, there's a, there's a group of, you know, we, we have some great shoppers for spider ski wear. You know, spiders, mm -hmm. you know, obviously yep. people are, you have to travel to ski unless you live in a resort, <laughs> right? So, yeah. so if, you're, if, you're in, you know, if you're buying full kit for your family, I'll give it, actually, I, I'm actually a good example where I, as you know, I'm Canadian. I grew up most of my life in Calgary and you know, now I live in New York City. I want to go skiing. I want to go to Lake Louise or I'm going to go to Banff or maybe Whistler, yeah. right? Yeah. And at the same time, living in New York, space is at a premium. I don't have, I, I don't have room to store, uh, you know, for skiing for twice a year and ski suits for my entire family. Yeah. So I'd rather be able to go up to Calgary and let's get some spider ski wear um, via sport check or one of our partners and let's get yeah. some skis and then let's head to the hill and then I can bring them back. And I don't know how that, that would work, but that to me is another idea. Yeah, I, I, you know, my, my kids don't need a high end ski jacket to go to school in Chelsea here, but, but, <laughs> but, I, but, I, like, right? but I like them to have a spider ski jacket, of course, if we're skiing at, at uh, Sunshine or Lake Louise. So yeah, I think there's, it's funny how we, you know, think about this conversation. We've mentioned Fry, Prince, Nautica, Spider. Yeah. Uh, we haven't even got to Barney's. We haven't even got yeah. to um, Brooks Brothers, you know, which yeah. is another one that we hope to own by the end of this month. So I, it's, it's, uh, it really is brand extension and continuity of this consumer connection between brands 
and lifestyle is so yeah. incredibly important. And I, and I think it's super smart what you and you and your wife are doing. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, let's see here. Obviously, we discussed COVID affecting yeah. our business, the travel industry. Um, has that also changed the way you're approaching storytelling for your brands? And then that cater to lifestyle and, and like Sports Illustrated, Nautica, Spider, has it changed how you market? Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. I mean, much more emphasis on digital, you know, le less emphasis on, on, you know, extravagant photo shoots. You know, people are, you know, there, there's, there's bigger issues in the world right now. And but at the same time, people are still consumers and they need things to wear and things to do. And they want to read about sports. You know, I mean, you know, I mean, cause you're, you're obviously very involved in the sports world. You see the, sports stories today are much more, you know, um, uh, relevant and cultural and uh, politically relevant than ever, right? And we're seeing right now with what's happening with the NBA and, and, and other sports, it's, uh, and, you know, we have, a, we have a job as Sports Illustrated to be, you know, to report on that, but at the same time, we're also advertising. So it's, yeah. I mean, every day, you know, like, it's like you get the world, we, we get, we get a left hook and then we get a right hook right, the next day, no matter where you are. And then you put your head down and you get an uppercut. <laughs> yes, exactly. You're exactly right. And that's why, you know, you and I are doing better than most. We feel for those folks, but yeah, it's, it's certainly been a, uh, a real change for us. And, and I think this has been a, uh, um, you, you've got me, you know, my mind going now. Again. I got the wheels turning <laughs> on, on these ideas. We got it. We got to get it done. And I think so. Yeah, absolutely. It's always amazing to talk to you. And I'll, I'll just wrap it up by saying one thing is, you know, I've been fortunate enough to, uh, to meet a lot of great professional athletes in my life. And I'll, just, Chris, just hold your hands up for a second. Okay. So if people don't, okay, that's okay. I got you. So pe but people don't understand. Okay. So I, <laughs> when you shake it, like there's people with big mitts. Okay. So I've I, Shaquille O'Neal, Ty Domi, and Julia Serving, and Chris Pronger. Th those four, like when you shake their hands, I'm just telling the whole audience, like it, like it is a, it is a, like, like you wouldn't want to meet this guy. You wouldn't want to meet Ty Domi in the corner either, but you would not want to, you would not want this guy for checking against you. I'm telling you it is, these guys have myths that are, and you can tell why they're, why they're natural athletes and why they, why you hear this expression that these guys have hands or these girls have hands for that man, obviously. Yeah. Um, you know, when they're, uh, when you're an athlete, you're, you're super special. I'm just, if you ever get a chance to shake hands with Chris Pronger, make sure that you have some form of, device or a uh, you're wearing like one of those chef's gloves that won't or you know you know the, the gloves that you wear when you go shark diving wear yeah. one of those because i'm still feeling it from you shaking my hand <laughs> i i was told a long time ago shake it like you mean it yeah and you know you get the dead fish and you're like yeah you got to get in there and that sometimes people know that they kind of they try to come in quick and Get a quick squeeze. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love it. I love it. See, see, everyone is watching is like, this is what Canadians do. We, it's true. We're all, we're friendly and we're, we talk about handshakes because we, we're friendly to everyone. <laughs> By the way, it's, it's great to see you, buddy. And um, glad yes. to hear you and the family are all set for school. I told you my kids are going back in real life and you're, I think your kids are going to do Zoom, right? They are doing, uh, yeah, they're doing online schooling to start. We'll right. see if we are able to pivot and get into school, but sure. Uh, we'll see. And uh, look for some partnerships and deals between Ross Absolutely. and ABG. Coming soon. Okay. Thanks, buddy. All right. Thanks, Dick. Take care. Bye-bye.